and welcome. I'm Mary Jo, also known as Sojo, and this is my weekly update number eight. Today is March 18th, 2023. Now, this is where I talk about everything I've worked on during the week, plus a previous finish or two along the way. So, a couple channel updates. I posted my trunk show part eight this week and I will be posting part nine again midweek. This will be the last of the trunk shows. And there could possibly be one in future lates down far away in the future if I get a bunch more quilt tops. We'll see. But that's okay because what's going to happen now is now we're just going to do a trunk show of all my finished quilts. But that's probably not going to start until about mid-April. I've got just life things going on the end of March and beginning of April. So it's probably going to be about mid-April before I start doing that. But I am going to do it. Now, I'm also going to be doing some sew-along um, where I'm going to be recording me putting together the Cotton Cuts Gnome of the Month wall hanging. I'm just waiting for those to come up to come in and then as soon as they're in I'm going to be recording videos and posting those so you can see how I like to sew. And of course I've got unboxings coming in. I know I got to notice that my Creative Notions box has shipped so that should be coming this week. And the sew sampler is, is due. It usually ships sometime around the 20 so maybe that will be coming in this coming week too. We'll see. Alright now let's talk about this quote behind me. Now this quilt is a fin previous finish that I did. And what this is, this is actually a memory quilt for my husband. My mother-in-law passed away six years ago, six years ago tomorrow on March 19th, 2017. So I made this memory quilt for my husband. Now my mother-in-law loved lighthouses, which is, which is the panel, the panel in the center is a lighthouse. And in addition, to that panel there's six different fabrics in it and those six different fabrics is because she had six children also within that there's this this one fabric down in here which is has footprints in the sands because that was a verse that was put on her funeral program um, at her final services and then on the back is just more lighthouses. Now, when I quilted that, I quilted it with this panograph. Which is just message in a bottle. Which is, yeah, message in a bottle. Which I thought was a good representation because even though she's no longer here with us, She's still sending my husband messages. It may not be in a bottle, but it's still a metaphor. But the message in a bottle went along with the whole little ocean water going on in the quilt. All right, now let's talk about what I completed this week. All right, the first thing I completed this week was I put the binding on this quilt. Now, I know I had showed this quilt quilted a few weeks ago in a weekly update, but I actually did the binding. So this one is all done. Now, this is just a small quilt. with label and back. And yes, I hand binded this one again. So that's all done. Now, what did I pull off the long arm this week? Let's take a look. So this is what I quoted on the long arm this week. This is number 19 in my 200 plus quilt top trunk show. This was a pattern called Weaver Fever by Jackie Robinson. All right, let's take a look at the quilting. 
So the quilting is hard to see there in the front, but we'll take a look over in the back and see if we can see it. All right, there's the pattern, there's the back, and there's the quilting. And I used a pantograph called Ribbon and Roses. So there's kind of like a ribbon with the rose down there. So that's what I quilted on the long arm this week. All right, let's move on to piecing. Let's see what I pieced this week. So the first thing I did as far as piecing was I had made a mistake on my Lori Hope Vintage Christmas block. So I had to fix that, which I did. So that shine block is all fixed now. And again, that's from the Lori Holt Vintage Christmas book. Now that was a mistake I didn't see until I showed last week. But I did find it when I showed it, so I fixed it. Alright, the next thing is I worked more on my husband's llama quilt that he wanted. This is a pattern from So Fresh Quilts. Oh, it's alpaca anyone. So I guess it's alpacas, not, not llamas. Close enough. But I did finish four more blocks. So this is one of them. That's another one. That's this one. And this is number four. I think the hair on that blended too much in with the body, but that's okay. And then these were the previous four I finished last week. I'm going to do a total of 16 blocks. That one. That one. This one. And that one. Now that quilt is being made with all flannels. So yesterday, my mom and I took a trip over to a quilt shop where they were having an end of a bolt sale and I got some more flannels to add in there. This one, this one, get another green. And that, so we're gonna be using those to make the other eight alpacas, llamas, whatever. <laughs> All right, also, I picked up some batiks. I love batiks. I got this one. This one. This one was my favorite. This batik, and then this, and that. Since it was an end of the bolt sale, we had to go look for all the skinny bolts. All right, now let's see what else I got. So I've also worked on some Creative Notion projects from the Creative Notion subscription box. I worked on this table topper all that pinned together that I just have it pinned those rows pinned together so I can sew those together and then after I get those sewed together I just have to add these triangles to each side and then we can quilt it So I worked on that and then I also worked on this snow quilt 
again was from a Creative Notion box. The Picnic Gnome. And the center of that is all pieced together. I am just working on adding those borders. I got the side borders. I'm just working on the top and bottom borders, which I've got pinned together. So I worked on that. And then it's got two more borders that go on after that one. All right, put that back. Then I worked on two sew sampler projects. The first one I worked on was the Starry Checkers. So I finished all the little nine patches or checkerboards. And now we just have to make them into these four patch units. In the wrong way. Four patch units like that. And then we can sew that all together. And there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them, all pinned together, just waiting to be sewn. So I worked on that this week. And then I also worked on this sew sampler project, the Star Flower Quilt Pattern. And we made a bunch of half square triangles over here. Then we've got these pinned together because these are going to be our glass blocks. So I just have to do all, all the sewing. And there's a bunch of those in there. Alright, I think that's everything I worked on as far as piecing this week. Now right before I started recording, I got an order in for the backing for my husband's Stonehenge quilt. And this is ombre backing here. There we go. So it kind of goes from light and then out to dark. It's kind of hard to, there we go. So I got that to go on the back of his Stonehenge quilt. So that will be going on the long arm this week. So Ross also picked out this new pantograph. And this is what he wants on his quilt. So. My plan is to get that quilted this week. We'll see if it happens or not. Now, in addition to getting that backing, let me show you what else came. I got some yardage in to go with this layer cake that I already had. To make this pattern which we had got this pattern from a shop pop a few weeks ago and it 
because I had a coupon. I bought some Jolly Bars. We got this Jolly Bar, and the Jolly Bars come with a pattern on the back. And this is this pattern. And I bought this. Hey, you can't see the pattern on that. But let's see if I can open it and I'll show you. Nah, it's kind of in there good. But I also got this one. Again, you can't see that pattern. I got this. Which is the dwell. And then that pattern. I really like that pattern. So I just happened to get this right before we started recording. So I thought I'd show it. Alright, let's move on to cross stitch. Alright, so last week I did an unbagging for my stitch quarterly. The sweet laurel pattern that we got. And I finished it. So that's all done. Those were done with DMCs and that fabric was a 14 count Ada cream and sugar from Fiber on a Whim. So, I haven't started it yet. But what I'm going to work on next is this Christmas band sampler. And it's going to take me a while. That's what my next project in cross stitch is. And I'm using all DMC. And I'm using Ada. I'm going to use a 16 count. With that. Alright. So that's for cross stitch. Now let's move on to crochet. Now what I'm wearing is a previous sweater I made. It's got that, it's got some details there. That's a previous sweater that I had crocheted and I have been working on this enchanted cardigan from Leather Co. I'm almost done. Almost. There's my hook. I'm just gonna finish the edging there. But here's that card again. Like I said, I just gotta finish the edging the rest of the way down. Now, it did come out a little, little long, little big across the back. So I think when I'm done with this, I still have a few skeins of that. I might try to make it and make some adjustments. Make it like make it a little bit smaller. We'll see. All right, one more thing to show you. All right, now this is the diamond painting I've been working on. Now this is just a small one, and since it's just a small, I tend to do one collar at a time, and I think there's a total of 32 collars, and I've done all the way through 12. Alright, so that's everything I worked on this week. Alright, till next time, when we talk about more of my quality stitchy things. Bye!